Bear, we got a bear right there. Two of them. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Let it drop, let it drop. Hey, bear! Oh my god, that's a big brown. Hey, bear coming! Bear coming! Get back! Go! Go! What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and we're still in Alaska doing more Alaska things. Check out what's happening behind me. These guys here have cast nets and they're casting for, not herring like we do, they're casting for salmon. And to be specific, they're casting for sockeye salmon. Cast netting for sockeye salmon. Just to start off with, there are five different species of salmon in the West Coast. Um, and all five species are here in Alaska. You can keep any of those five species and that includes as well the, the kings as well and the cohos and there's pink salmon chum salmon and there are these sockeye salmon and those are the five species that are out here and sockeye salmon is what they're going for today and why i'm saying they're going for it and not me because this can only be done by alaska residents unfortunately so we're just here observing oh my god look at that look at all right so our buddy so we're here with our buddy well, we made some friends here and we are here uh, with Nathan and Eleanor up there and they just they just got a huge haul they they I think I just saw them bring up like eight salmon so we'll go up there and check it out actually so cool that you can cast for salmon sockeye salmon which are really tasty salmon ah the branch got me and uh Something we have to watch out for here are bears. And they are definitely bears here. But they're friendly. But they are <laughs> sort of not no, friendly, they but they're, they're more after the salmon than anything else. So they're kind of keyed in on the salmon too, just like we are. And uh, so they won't really bother us, hopefully. But I mean, there's always a potential. So I got we got our bear sprays. We're just keeping watch. We're basically the bear watch. Bear watch team. <laughs> That's all we can do. Protect the fish. Protect the fish. We're not allowed to touch the fish. Here we go. Let's watch. Let's watch Nathan real quick. There it is. So here are our friends Nathan and Eleanor. How many um how many fish did you get on that one cast? We got two keepers and I think we had like five or six. And what's the keeper size? Uh, there's no size for it. We're, we're targeting uh, sockeye salmon. Oh, okay. So, um, there's some pinks in here that we tossed back. Oh, okay. There's pinks in there too. That's why they're throwing the pinks back, keeping the sockeyes. Nice. Oh, uh, she got a couple, but both pinks. Yep. Household limit on the sockeye salmon is 25 salmon. It's pretty wild. It's a lot. So this fishery is what they call a personal use fishery. Basically, all these fish right here that are in this river right now, uh, they're from a hatchery and all of them are going to die. Uh, not, because, not just because they're spawning. When salmon spawn, they all die. Uh, all Pacific salmon, after they, they spawn, all five species, they die off. But Atlantic salmon, they actually can go back and live, uh, live more years in the water and then come back to spawn again so they can spawn multiple times the Atlantic salmon. But anyways, getting a little off track. These fish uh, are in this river and this river is pretty short and they were all released at the lake above here and they come down this huge waterfall, about a 20 foot waterfall that's there. And even if they can get through the one or two or three of these uh, little smaller waterfalls, they're not going to be able to get up that uh, 20 foot waterfall. So these guys are not even going to be able to spawn. They're just going to be bear food and human food. And that's pretty much it. And this is the, the point of this fishery uh, in particular. So people can you know, have a lot of fish to eat and hopefully see some bears because we haven't seen any bears in Alaska. We just want to see some bears, you know, from a safe distance. I think that'll just be fun. Stay down oh, there. Oh, I see it. He's coming out. He's coming out oh, right now. Oh, shoot. There's a bear. He's like, hey. Oh, he's so cute from a distance. Uh-oh. 
Where is he there? Trump himself. He's, he's right where we were before. Damn it. Oh, there's two. Oh, oh there oh, it is. Oh, it's going for the drum. Oh, it's going for the Oh, my God. Look at that. Is there any the drum? No. Oh, there he goes. He's leaving. Look at their yeah. little ears. I can go grab it. A little bear watching action. Hey, see, these guys are right here. And that bear was literally right there. Walking away now. Oh, wow. That's Alaska for you. That's a nice brown bear. Oh, so cool. Um, uh, literally, when I was saying we want to see a bear from a safe distance, yeah. that just happened right that now. That would have been scary if you'd been down there. <laughs> yeah, it would have been just scary if we were actually down there. Yeah, he just, <laughs> he just came about, came around and kind of looked around and saw, checking if there was any fish he could eat. And I uh, kind of just walked off and now he's crossing the river. All right, Nathan, show us how it's done. <laughs> Try There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Nice, nice. That's a big one in there. There's a big one. Dude, showed us how it's done, huh? There's that other one. Got the bonk on him. Oh, there's a bear right there. Ooh. Holy sh There's a bear right there? Snuck up on them, yeah. Oh, shoot. Snuck up on these guys over here. Oh, we gotta watch our backs too. Uh, yeah, the guy down yeah. there saw it. There you go, guys. Sockeye salmon. Sweet. Okay. Is there a distinct feature on the sockeye? Um, they're just bigger scales. Bigger scales? Okay. They kind of like silver. Uh huh. Um, but the tail um, doesn't have any dots on it. No dots on the tail. They kind of have a white gun. Oh, the white yeah. guns are instead of the black. I'm just helping John spot some uh, some of the salmon here. That's all I can do. Fish spotter and bear watcher. That's what that's what I'm here for. Oh, right there, dude. There's a big school right there. They all moved down right now. Oh, they're coming back up, John. They're coming back up right now. Yep, yep. You see them? There's one, two, three, four, five, at least six, seven. Yep, right there, right in front of you. Yep, they're right there, man. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Let it drop. Let it drop. Let it drop. Oh, good. You got him. You got him. You got him. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Nice, man. Got one. Got one. Fish spotter. Fish spotter. And bear watcher. Hey. Look up. Good job, man. The nice sockeye. That's a nice sockeye. Bear. Bear. We got a bear right there. Two of them. Two of them. Everybody's going after. Got the blow horns. Oh shoot, he's gonna get in the water. Oh shoot, they're getting close. They're getting close. Trying to scare off the bear. Oh my god, that's a big brown. They're just trying to scare it off. Oh, he's got a fish! He's got the fish! Oh my god, he's got he's got a fish! He's got a fish! They stole he stole their fish. Uh, we'll put my, the footage from my phone and the bear took a fish of somebody's Man, they sneaky these little these bears these big bears not little bears big bears are sneaky oh no no it came off but they're still there they're still right there just in for salmon oh i want to throw oh man guys this looks so fun it's so so brutal not being able to participate in this oh. but you know what I'm gonna get some cool shots get some drone shots yeah I'll get I'll get a lot of shots of them casting and things like that
There's a bear going right towards Jocelyn. Hold on. Find my drone and then this guy was like, behind you! And the bear was right behind me. He snuck up. Hey bear! Don't chase, don't chase it towards her. That was scary, that was scary as, holy shit, that was scary. Damn, that bear was going, that path that we took down, that bear was going straight up that path and we couldn't, if we went for it, it would have just led him straight to Jocelyn. So we kind of had to stay back and she was yelling at it the whole time and she kind of stood to the side and he just walked, walked right past her. Oh, oh my God, I was, my heart was pounding, man. I was so scared for her. Oh my god, I couldn't do anything about it because there's only one path up that way and the bear was going up that path. You okay? Yeah, I came really close. Super close, huh? Yeah. Oh I man. Like we're gonna leave the, put the fish down. I was like, I know a bear's gonna come right now when I'm alone. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know, you were all alone up here. and I was like, oh man, I'm the smallest of the group. <laughs> He was looking at me, he didn't like the horn. Oh yeah. He true. was not like phased by my yelling. Yeah. He was just like, hmm, you stuck him over there. Yeah, you kept yelling at him. Huh? Yeah, and then every time they did the horn, he's like, ugh. That's the most I've heard you yell. I know. Scary. Yeah, right here. He just walked right here. Yeah, on the rock. Flow, 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 and then just kept yeah. going. Did he look at you? The whole time. Oh, he's just looking? Yeah. Damn. He looked like he wanted to come, but then someone started blowing the air horn and yeah. he's all, Oh. But he was like kind of looking down like, hmm, I don't know. Uh, Nathan was like, don't scare it because you're just scaring it right towards her. Yeah. <laughs> cornering it. So, yeah, I was like, so yeah, we I just kind of had to stay, stand back. That was crazy. I was here? Close. I was going to stay down there, but then I was worried I'd look too small. Uh-huh. So I came up here. You came up here? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, he's coming this way. I was hoping he'd go up that way. Yeah. Um, but he started coming this way, and I wanted to step back, but you're not supposed to. Yeah. It's like if it's moving towards you, you stand your ground. You stood your ground? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> he was like right there. I was like, oh, I was gonna stand my ground. <laughs> oh my god. Brave. And he was right there, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Because they said if you run, yeah. if you take a step back and they're moving towards you, yeah. they take it as you're being submissive mm. or something. It's like the bear experts. Yeah. I was flying the drone down there and then I was looking around the whole time and nothing really, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden the guy across the river was like, bear behind you. Because I heard someone yell it and I was trying to figure it out. And yeah. then I saw them looking this way. Yeah. So I looked this way and it was down there next to you. And yeah. I was like, oh, maybe I can angle the camera to make it look like the bear is coming next to you. <laughs> and you guys all started yelling and started turning this way. And I was and like, then, oh man. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's when it, that's that same bear that came up mm. towards you. Get back! Bear! 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 <laughs> I think we need an air horn. Ooh. 
I think we need an air horn. This is too tiring. Holy I'm shit. My boy. Oh shit. Bear. Oh shit. Where'd go? Hey, bear oh, coming. Bear coming. Yeah. Whoa, crazy! He's up there. Yeah, he's leaving. He's leaving. He's going the other way. Jeez, that was sketchy. That was a little too close. Oh my goodness. I know, that was you by yourself, huh? That's crazy. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> I know. He was just standing right there. And then he came down. Woo. Woo. Alaska, baby. <laughs> I keep saying Alaska, baby. This is our first time seeing bears in Alaska. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's for one time is enough. <laughs> so what do you have to do? You have to clip them? You have to clip the fins. To mark that they are from this uh, fishery here. Oh. Because right now there's um, commercial fishing. Uh huh. And um, this tells us and the fishing game like where they've been caught and then make sure that we don't sell them. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So. Hey, you're uh. Well, guys, that was freaking cool. Good job. Yeah. You guys did amazing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head out now. And yeah, we'll get back. And this is how you get the salmon out of the river. Throw it all in a barrel. Walk it down. <laughs> we are going to fillet a ton of fish right now. So here's the first one. Take the head off. So we actually did this yesterday too. Our friends uh, Matt and Leah from Barnacle, Barnacle Foods, they also did the went and did the same thing yesterday so I actually just went over yesterday and just helped them fillet a bunch of fish um, yeah so we didn't get to go yesterday but we just went today and uh, yeah now we're I'm gonna help them fillet again yeah, so we weren't allowed to touch any of the fish while we we're over there since we're not residents but um, now you know we can fillet and we can do whatever we like Look at how bright and orange that is. That's that krill fed salmon. Sockeye salmon, they're so red. They're probably the most red of any salmon species. Pretty cool. All right, let's just knock these out. We got a bunch. You can check that bucket. There's probably over 20, definitely over 20. We're gonna get this fire going and we'll cook up some of the salmon. So all of the fishing and the bear action, that was actually all yesterday. Uh, after we filleted the fish, we ended up cooking some of it back at Eleanor and Nathan's house, but we didn't film any of that. So we're gonna film some cooking now. Uh, they were kind enough to give us some of their sockeye salmon. And yeah, we're gonna cook some up right now. We're gonna grill some on the hot coals here. And it's been super hot here in Alaska. 80 degrees in Alaska, so uh, we're craving something, something light, something refreshing. So we're gonna make like a vermicelli bowl um, type of deal. All right. So on the way to the river, it was about a two-hour boat ride, and we dropped some crab pots uh, before we got out there. So we picked them up uh, when we got back, and these Dungeness crabs. I didn't film any of it, but these Dungeness crab were some of the biggest Dungeness crabs I have ever seen. So we got to keep a couple of them uh, and we're gonna have some of that too. Let me show you an example 
of this Dungeness crab. So cooked it yesterday while we were uh, filleting all the fish. But look at this guy. Look how, this guy is enormous. That's, a, that's nearly a nine inch Dungeness crab. It's humongous. These legs are so thick. Amazing. The thickest legs on a Dungeness crabs I've ever seen. And I like those thick legs. I have this little grill here. Just gonna put it on top of the fire. I'm gonna put a little olive oil on the skin. And we're just gonna do some simple seasoning, some salt and pepper. All right, now I'm gonna throw it on. Nice. Also season the other side. Ooh, fish. Fish are jumping. Some splash behind me. All right, we're gonna make a sauce for this. I have some sugar in here, just a spoon of sugar. In here I have my fish sauce and Thai chili mix. And we're just gonna put some of that in there. Generous amount of the fish sauce. Just like that. Check my salmon, make sure it's not burning. Check this fish, look at that. We're looking beautiful. I'm gonna add a bit of water as well. And lemon juice. And we'll give that a mix. Let me give it a taste. Mm. Tastes great. Nice lemony, light, little fish sauce flavor. It's looking good. I prepare some vegetables here. Got some cucumber, carrots, cilantro, some red onions. We're just gonna top the uh, these bowls that have rice noodles in them. I'm just gonna top it with the, these ingredients here. Back to my fish. Make sure this doesn't burn. It's looking good. This one is almost done. This guy here is nearly done. It's tail section, it's a little thinner. This guy's a little more time. All right, mine, we're gonna top off <laughs> with this piece of sockeye salmon that barely fits. Put some crab on there. Crab claws. <laughs> oh, the crab juice. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll get some to peel that for you. Oh, look, a little piece of crab. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that dungeon crab is insane. Oh, well, here it is, guys. Here's some simple grilled sockeye salmon with uh, rice noodles and some vegetables. We'll just throw that sauce right on top. Delicious, spicy, savory, citrusy sauce. Got a nice smokiness, perfect. Great flavor from the fire. Mm. Sakai is a much more firm salmon. Was the salmon worth fighting a bear for? <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That was the craziest bear encounter ever. I mean, that was our first bear encounter, yeah. first of all. <laughs> and that was so close. But I think you can feel that like it wasn't really after us, you know. It was they were just looking for salmon. They just wanted some, just wanted to eat some salmon. Still scary. Still scary. Yeah, that's still scary sure. that you're supposed to stand your ground. Mm -hmm. 
So it goes against all your instincts. That would be scary to do alone, what you did. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And I couldn't do anything about it because there was only one path up to Jocelyn and the bear was literally in that path, on that path on the yeah. way up. So, you know, all I could do was kind of stand back and stand back and wait for the bear to leave. Yeah, when he was down there with you guys, mm -hmm. and then um, I started getting scared and walking away. I was like, oh, okay, they're all fine down there. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh no, I think he, instead of making a right, he made a left, which takes him to me. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, he's coming up here. And he just goes so slow too. Yeah, super slow. And he finally gets up to you. And he, what paused. Do you do? he paused. He paused too. Look at you. Mm -hmm. He smelled the salmon because they had just taken it down. Mm. So before then, there had been like 10 salmon on the ground. Yeah. So I'm sure he was... And he was just sniffing that out. Yeah. Probably. So you can... Yeah, you can definitely smell it. Mm -hmm. And he was probably wondering if he still had some of that salmon there looking at you. And luckily, somebody uh, blew the air horn, right? Mm -hmm. At that moment. And then... Yeah, because you didn't seem phased by me yelling at him. Mm -hmm. I think because usually everyone else yells together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was literally right after everybody else went down. Mm -hmm. And she was the only one up there. And in that moment, boom, happened. Yeah. And um, up until then, they'd all been down. Yeah, all the bears were down, were really down low. And it's not like she could have gone anywhere <laughs> unless she jumped in the water. Yeah. And. They don't really recommend I mean, running from them either. Yeah. If they're walking towards you. Yeah. Uh, but the next step, if it did get closer, would have been the bear spray, which she had on mm -hmm. her. Were you pointing at it the mm -hmm. whole time? Yeah. Yeah, I put my camera down once it started getting close. Yeah. And grab the bear spray. Had the bear spray on hand, ready to shoot uh, if it was necessary, but we don't want to harm them uh, if it's, you know, we don't need to. Yeah. So, yeah, and the bear walked off, walked up, and so I ran up and, uh, yeah, check, check if she was okay, and then the, the bear came straight back down. <laughs> I think it was pretty sure it was the same bear, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that one, I don't know why the second time felt scarier. Yeah? I don't Even, know if it's because the first time you're so focused, because you're by yourself. Mm hmm So it's like you have to do everything right. Mm hmm And it's like instinct wants you to like step back. Mm hmm yeah, for sure. But you're not supposed to. I'm not supposed to step back, And I just, yeah. I kept wanting to. Yeah. I was like, nope, they said don't do that. And then the second time, we just kind of stood there too. Mm -hmm. Just stood there, yelled at it, and kind of sniffed over to the side. And he was kind of, he was, almost took a path where he would be <laughs> like directly in line. If we would have come down from that tree, there was nowhere else to go besides the cliff or into us. Luckily. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. When he, maybe that's why it felt scary, because he was yeah. looking. It was about to come over. And luckily, it turned around, turned back, and kind of went around the tree, and then up and over, and, and back down. Oh wow, what an experience! <laughs> it's Alaska for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a nice IPA here. Oh, my pulse. <sighs> oh, sorry to our parents. <laughs> <laughs> For giving them a heart attack in this video <laughs> all right well thank you for watching another alaskan series outdoor chef life video alaska has been incredibly epic <laughs>